Okay, um, so um, <clears throat> running out of time, being productive and feeling overwhelmed. Well, that that is a common theme. Uh, I think for, it's a universal hu human common theme. So the parents, you know, my parents were like, <clears throat> Uh, you've got to be productive, you've got to do your exams, you've got to study hard, you've got to pass these exams, you've got to be a doctor, um, you, you've got to achieve, 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 uh, d d don't waste time. So all these belief systems and um, productivity and meeting these belief systems, either from my parents or my own ones, what my own ego said, you know, well, you know, you need to do a lot of exercise, you're fat, um, whatever it is, and then and then I get my parents' programs. Um, you've got to be a doctor. You've got to have a lot of academic success, blah, blah, blah. So you have all these unconscious beliefs. So it's always like you're. I'm in a rush. And also, of course, Western society, funny enough, East, some Eastern societies don't really think about time. But Western society, everything's about time. Like how much do you get done in what period of time? Productivity. So obviously there's their beliefs in time and the beliefs in productivity within time, which is just another huge belief system. So there's a lot of belief systems there, the belief in time, uh, the beliefs in achieving in, within a time scale, uh, fulfilling other people's beliefs and my own internal beliefs. So that's a lot of pressure. It is overwhelming. And you've got to be running, doing all of these things. Um, so how do you get out of all of this stuff? Uh, and would you feel overwhelmed with everyone's beliefs? and your own beliefs and society. Yes, of course it is overwhelming um, because uh, you're not you're not attached to source. You're not in the source. The source is timeless. The source is free of beliefs. Uh, the, the source is limitless and eternal and ever present. So it doesn't experience time. It doesn't have any beliefs about productivity or even experiencing time. So none of that can exist there. So how do you undo it? Well, through spiritual work. Yeah, you, you you undo your belief. You can cancel your belief systems. I have to be a doctor by the age of thirty or whatever it is. It was that was uh, I'd be, I used to have that one. Um, and um, well, these other things, you know, I need to. I need. I need to. I need. I had a lot of things before thirty. I needed to be thin. I needed to be successful. I needed to be a doc. I mean, it's like. I was overwhelmed. I got kidney failure. Nearly died, <laughs> died with overwhelm. So, and I was a mad addict as well, insane addict. Um, so, how how do you come? How do you how do you get over? Well, you got to realize that only at the uh, it, you're undoing spiritual work is undoing the ego. So you're undoing all your beliefs in time, uh, in all your limiting beliefs, like the. Uh, uh, you know, you have a lot, I have a lot of beliefs that take me into the world, not take me closer to the infinite. So those are unproductive. You, you, it's like they're never ending. It's like uh, productivity is never ending. But getting closer to the source, the infinite source, the God consciousness, uh, which is beyond time and is effortless and is always ever present and is enough and doesn't have to achieve anything or do anything or go anywhere or it doesn't even experience time is the way to undo overwhelm, overwhelm with the limitations of being mired in limiting belief systems. So that's the way to unhook it. Only the truth sets one free. Buying illusions, uh, you know, entraps one. Uh, buying belief system, anything that takes you closer to the infinite is um, is worth. Uh, really, you, what the, you, the work you're doing is undoing the beliefs to rest in the infinite. So that, that's the way out of uh, that's the way out of um, overwhelm, uh, feeling like one is running out of time and being run by all these things. Like I have a huge to-do list and I've got all these beliefs and all these agendas and I even believe in time. That's another one to let go. Of. So that's you do, you know, cancellation of beliefs and alignment with the source, you know, to be in that which gives everlasting, ever-present freedom. Okay, I'll stop there uh, on that. Um, press stop button.